So what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to another WebSocket tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to implement a close function for WebSocket which would actually just fire up whenever you lose a client so its implementation is something like that on close what I'm gonna do is say that I lost a client right so this one run whenever you lose a client and then what I can do is say console log client one more client connected right so this one would work only run only once for a particular client connection but this and this one also would work whenever there's a disconnection from the client side right so if i run this now node and next oh we could have actually you made use of node bond but anyways so if i reload this and say something like 111 hit send we got from server 111 and uh, right here we can see that one more client connected and see it works fine and if i just copy this url and paste it right here you can see that we get one more client connected now these two connections are independent right so it's not like if I write a b c d hit send here then this would update a b c d here as well no not that because the server is sending this response to a particular client which actually sent the message to the server right it's not written right here but it's just happening under the hood right so you can just connect multiple clients here send like that then something like that this one and all of these are separate clients right you can see that one more client connected all of these right so it doesn't matter which client sends what messages they are not linked directly just like they should be right so now what happens is if I close this window you see we get a lost client message but again it doesn't affect the connectivity of the server client system right if I close this one we lost another client this one lost another client and so on and if I finally close this one you can see that we lost the final client as well so that is how pretty much this close would work and obviously you might have noticed that we have no actual way to track which client did we actually lose so you don't know at this point of message the client you lost right but you can actually just know that by assigning an ID to every client which might be useful for some child applications but not for this simple program so for demonstration obviously so yeah that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick